Hello everybody, my name is Shaz, and yes, you're reading the screen right. We are going to go over a software today which enables you to actually white label voice flow. Voice flow being the very popular chatbot building app. You can actually now white label it, slap your logo on it, slap your domain on it, and sell it as your own SaaS product. And it has some awesome analytics features and extra features that VoiceFlow does not even offer. So I'm super, super excited to show you this software that I stumbled upon today. If you're running an AI automation agency, this will be literally perfect for you to get started. Again, as you could take VoiceFlow, brand it as your own and sell it to consumers and people in your area to start your business. So I'm super excited for this and I will actually be demoing the premium version of this software in this video. I'm so excited to show you this guys. It's a massive game changer. Again, if you're trying to start your AI automation agency and sell chatbots, it's going to be an awesome solution for you. So let's hop right into the video. I'm really excited to show you this. So guys, if you don't know already, chatbots have been blowing up because of the AI capabilities. Essentially, a chatbot is just an interface on a website that simulates conversation between a user and a machine on behalf of a business. And there's huge potential for actually building out these chatbots for different companies. And one of the companies that has really nailed the chatbot making process is VoiceFlow. You might have heard of BotPress, but VoiceFlow is the actual one I use up until now to actually build out chatbots for my clients. They have a massive following, they have a huge Discord program, and they have a very good product overall. We are going to be leveraging VoiceFlow's already built out software, white labeling it, and then selling it as our own with some additional features and benefits with this new software that we're gonna get into in a second. The first ever client that I personally signed for my AI automation agency was multiple months ago, and that was actually a person in real estate that wanted a lead generation and customer support chatbot on their website. This would be a 24 seven AI chatbot that again, qualified leads and handled customer support for this real estate company. And as you can see here, a chatbot was super useful to this person and super useful in general to businesses and business owners like this. Too busy, not enough time. They want something on their website that can help them out, especially if they're getting a lot of traffic to their website. A chatbot is a no brainer move for a lot of businesses. This is where you could actually step in and do what I did, build out a chatbot for a business and then charge them for that chatbot and basically come in and sell your service. So that's what I've done. And this software is gonna make that so much easier for me and so much more branded to my identity and to my company. And for that first real estate client that I built out a chatbot for, I use VoiceFlow. I use the software VoiceFlow and this is my experience. So. One, the client knew that we use VoiceFlow because we had to send them a .vf file, meaning a VoiceFlow file to actually put into their VoiceFlow account, and then they published it on their website. So the client knew we were using VoiceFlow, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I'd rather have that under my company name. Two, there was limited functionality. There was no analytics, and I could not track from a business owner, I cannot track what they see. I cannot track the data that they see and I cannot manage their workspace in the way that I really wanted to. Three is that I had to pay for the pro version and if you have used VoiceFlow before, it's not the most inexpensive service. It's pretty expensive, it's about $50 a month if you wanna build, I think, three or more chatbots. I'm pretty sure it's three or more chatbots. So, you know, it adds up and if you're doing multiple clients, you will have to keep increasing your plan, which increases your cost as a business owner. So I wanted to find something that was a little more cost efficient for what I was trying to do. And then finally, like I mentioned before, I actually had to transfer over the chatbot to my client. It wasn't the most smooth process because again, they knew I used VoiceFlow. So I had to build it, take it to them. They had to make an account. They had to install it and then put it on their website. I wish there was an easier way to do this back then. Now this software that I have stumbled across has this functionality to make it all in-house, but that is what I had to go through. And this is sort of my whole voice flow experience when I built out that first chatbot for my first client ever multiple months ago. Now back then this software did not exist, but if it did, it would have been huge because I needed something that had custom dashboards. I wanted to track the analytics. I wanted to track how many conversations were happening. I wanted to visualize the data that I was doing and that I was providing as a service for my client. And I wish my client could see that as well in a more standard format that VoiceFlow doesn't offer. Appealing analytics, sort of the same. I wanted to be able to see the analytics so I could sell those analytics to other business owners, but it was hard to track. Knowledge base access. I was the only one that had access to the knowledge base, but if the client wanted to go in there and change stuff themselves, it was a clunky process. Now there's a solution for that, which we're gonna get into in a second. FAQ support. There's no FAQ support on VoiceFlow, right? It's not built in and it's not very helpful. I wanted a process that was much easier for myself and my client to actually see to get instant help. And then finally, controlling the client journey, having a smooth onboarding process, having a smooth software in general to actually utilize and actually show to a client would have been much better, right? If I could control the client journey from A to Z, it would have been much better instead of building out a bot, sending it to them, having them make an account, having them implement it on their website. It was just a clunky process, but, but now you could control the client's journey 
in this new solution. And guys, I want to mention that all of these extra added features that I wish I had in the past for this new software come with an added logo and a domain. So you could actually put your own name on it. You could put your own logo on it, your own branding, all this stuff. It's pretty awesome that it just increases the amount of trust that your customer has. And finally, you're actually paying much less to white label this. It's pretty crazy, at least for how prices are now with this software. You're paying less than the pro version of VoiceFlow to actually white label its services. It's pretty crazy. Let's get into a demo of this. I cannot wait to show you guys this stuff. And please do take action on this before the, the prices get jacked up, before more people know about it. Because again, I think this is a massive solution that was much needed in the AI automation agency space. All right, guys, we are going to get into the premium demo of this software. I highly recommend you go down to the description, fill out a free account and follow along so you can set everything up as I do and get started on your journey utilizing and white labeling essentially voice flow to start your AI automation journey and selling chatbots to clients. But please do follow along. It'll be the first link in the description to sign up. Again, you can start for free. Well, let's get into a premium demo and a premium account that I have. And guys, what you've all been waiting for, the software is called Chat Dash. Now I'm gonna to go to my account right now. All right, one more thing guys, and we're back to the show. I just realized that I'm not even on the premium account. I just talked to the owner and he confirmed that. So all the stuff you're about to see is not even for the premium Chat Dash account that you could get. This is all like the free or lower tiered version. And the more premium accounts, obviously you can white label and onboard so many more clients and have access to a few different features. But just wanted to mention that I said I was on the premium version when I'm actually on the free version, which is even crazier because I thought I was in the premium version this whole time. That's how good the solution is in my opinion. But keep on watching back to the show. Just keep that in mind as you continue. See you guys. Alrighty, so when you log into your chat dash account, this is more or less what you're gonna see. Now I'm gonna walk you through the different sections, what everything means, how to onboard clients, how to brand everything right now. Let's hop right into it. So starting, you come right in and you're on your clients section or your client management section. This is the client, so test is a client, moon is a client. And then for every client, you have the projects inside that are being done for that client. All right guys, so in this case, moon is going to be our client and then the two projects, Legal Draft Pro and Yumso, those are the two projects that we were working on for the client moon. All right, so pretty simple client right here. Then the multiple projects could be for a client, which is really cool because you can have multiple chatbots, multiple solutions under one project for a client. And this is also the back end, right? So we are looking at the back end overarching view of what everyone is seeing. In a second, I'll preview it and show you what the client sees when they log into their account. So currently, guys, Chat Dash works in this way. You could take both your APIs from a voice flow, from a voice flow project or an open AI project and put them in to chat dash so you could use additional benefits and again, branding and domain and client view and client management and all this stuff. But you're essentially just taking the API from those existing projects and putting them into chat dash. And right now they only support open AI and voice flow. I think they have plans to roll more stuff out in the future, but it's really all you need to get started. So for example, if you see, if you click on a project, you can sort of control what they see. Same here, you can control the temperature, the model of AI and all this stuff for voice flow. So right now they only support open AI and voice flow, but it's plenty to get started. if You're selling chatbots as a solution, trust me. And let's continue with Moon as the client. So you can see here, you can set up a new password, client information, you can actually control the projects they see right here. So those will show up here on the project list. So let's go to the client's view. Cause again, this is the back end of the software. This is what you see as a project manager. So you can manage all your clients and manage the products and the projects for each client. But let's go to what the actual client sees when they log in. So this test one has a really beautiful thing going on. So let's go to preview. And this is exactly what the client sees. It's pretty awesome guys. You have very good analytics. It's visualized well. It's multiple stuff. You can see how many users are coming, how many sessions, the token usage for your actual API key for OpenAI, recognition rate. I mean, there's so much stuff that they track and none of this guys, none of this is tracked by VoiceFlow and it's not displayed in anywhere near as neat and as useful as this. Day Yo, what's up guys? I don't mean to jump scare you here, but one correction about Chat Dash is VoiceFlow does allow you to track analytics, but the advantages of Chat Dash is that you could filter analytics per client and then the client could obviously see a visual of analytics for specific projects for specific chatbots so just wanted to clarify that in voice flow you can track analytics but it is not as clean user-friendly um, and advantageous uh, as chat dash's platform and the analytics that they offer all right back to the video it is everything right if you set up a dashboard just like this using chat dash or your client you could literally prove how effective the chatbot is which is a huge selling point. Data is everything. I've learned that in my own business, 
data is everything. If you could prove like, hey, 100 people came through on the chatbot and five converted into leads, that's a huge deal. And Chatdash allows you to do all that by tracking data and not only tracking it, but displaying it in a very beautiful manner. And again, you could sort by different time periods and stuff like that. And you could go to the transcript, all right? So you could see what people are using, you can see what people are saying, you can see the users talked, when they talked, what they said, stuff like that. You also go to the knowledge base, have all types of stuff in here, which you could add to, which you could change, stuff like that. And the really cool thing is that in the knowledge base section, your client could actually come in here and add stuff on your behalf, right? So you don't have to be in control all the time. You could have a done for you section where they could actually come in and add their own docs, add their own stuff like that. In the past with VoiceFlow, it was a really a pain in the ass because they had to send you all their information and then you implemented it into their system, right? Into VoiceFlow, into the back end, into the knowledge base. It's not efficient. What if you just created an account for them and say, hey, direct them over, say, hey, go to data source and plug in a new knowledge base. It's so much easier, guys, and it'll save you so much time and they'll respect that because they're not sending you sensitive information. They're just plugging it right into your proprietary software, right into your white labeled software. So. And another cool feature is you could actually have an AI preview of your knowledge base. You could ask your knowledge base questions so you could tweak it and guide it from here, which is really cool. This is just a knowledge base about sports. Boom, it comes up with different sports. All right, so it'll just you could just test out and have an AI preview of what's going on. And again, it's just more filtering options for the actual model you're using for ChatGPT uh, and OpenAI and stuff like that. We could see analytics, transcript, knowledge base, and there's projects here. So if we go back to preview, this is for test. You can see there's only one project, right? Now I could add another project like this if I wanted to. Now there's two projects. And now you could filter in between the projects. All right, so there's so much stuff you could do. And guys, like, I really hope you see how customized this is. There's not a lot of solutions out here that will allow you to customize it this far, right? At least not right now. So I'm going to put that back to how it was. But you could see here, you could onboard a new client. You could have a client limit of whatever they set, you know, depending on your plan. And this is the client management section. So let's go down to the project section. So the project section is really similar, guys. You could just go in and add a new project, essentially. I'm at my limit right now. But you just add a project and then have all these pre-built templates, essentially. And then just add the project that's pre-built template to a new client. Like, that's why it's super scalable, in my opinion, as well. You could build out some awesome, awesome chatbot solutions in VoiceFlow, connect the API over to ChatDash, and then you could just implement them in the new workflow of a client. Like it's super scalable. The process is awesome, especially if you're focused on one niche, one type of chatbot, you know, lead generation, customer support, product recommendations, whatever that is. Um, that's sort of how you add projects. Pretty simple process. And next guys, we're going to go over to the agency profile. So this is where you could change your agency's name. This is where all your billing information will be, how many projects you have, clients you have, your plan. And this is really cool. So a lot of you guys that have business partners, a lot of you guys are running an AI automation agency with one person doing marketing, one person doing development. So you just add your whole team to this dashboard, all right? So now you guys are all on the same software, all making moves, all changing stuff, and all on the same page, right? It's much easier to do, in my opinion, here than in VoiceFlow. So you could add an admin, add a dev, and add all types of different people um, to your custom chat dash dashboard. All right, now we're gonna go over to agency white label. So here is the white label dashboard. And for some reason right now, I have to upgrade my account, but basically super simple. You could put your agency's name that will pop up up here. You could add your own domain. So whatever you guys' business name is, when they go to your business's domain, this whole software will pop up. Again, you could have your agency name, your favicon, which is sort of what comes up here. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's so much customization here. This is where the money is made guys. Cause I want you guys to think if you're selling a solution to your client, and you say, hey, we have our own chatbot software that we will onboard you to, that we'll show you analytics for, that has our name on it and our domain name on it and our branding colors on it. That is so much more appealing than selling someone a voice flow service that you have to implement for them and they have to make an account and you have to share it with them. So it's a much more standardized, scalable process and it builds trust because you're basically operating under your own white labeled software with your domain and with all of your colors and your branding in, you know, your personal image behind it. So this is probably the biggest thing you have to take advantage of white labeling this actual software, white labeling chat dash, making it your own and then using it in the ways I just taught you by onboarding clients, by making projects uh, and stuff of that nature. And guys, a huge part of client management to me is controlling the customer's journey. So check this out. This is really cool. So as you can see, analytics, transcript, knowledge base tags, FAQ, if we go into the preview, this is what the client sees. 
they could see all that stuff. Analytics, transcript, FAQ, knowledge base, all this stuff here. Now, if we go back to preview, this is really cool, guys, because controlling the client's journey is insanely important. Go to features. Let's just toggle off the knowledge base. Let's toggle off transcript. Let's do this. Save. Look, they're gone, right? Knowledge base, transcripts, they're gone because we toggled them off. Now, if we go and do it one more time, just so I could show you how it works and how powerful this is, toggle them back on, save it, go to preview. This is what the client sees, and boom, they're back. So this is huge because you can control the client's journey, guys. I cannot tell you how important it is to make the client's journey as straightforward as possible. You don't want to show them shit that they don't need to see. You don't want to show them sections that are just going to confuse them. You want to just limit the client journey to what they need to succeed, and that is it. So I think this is a massive selling point, in my opinion, for ChatDash. We could really just control the client's journey from the back end, which is what you see, uh, and then just give them the best possible customer experience without overwhelming them or showing them unnecessary stuff. That's not going to help them in the long run. So again, a huge selling point for me. I really love the aspect of this software. And guys, my final thing that I wanted to show you is you could add multiple agencies. So you could have an agency for real estate. You could have an agency for insurance. You could have an agency for the medical space. You could just add multiple agencies depending on your plan, obviously. Um, and you could just have as many businesses as you want with many do domains as you want with as many branding colors as you want. So there's a lot of stuff you could do, especially if you want to niche down, which I really recommend you do have one sophomore for real estate, have one software for insurance, have one for dentists, whatever that may be. Uh, but again, you can just add multiple agencies under your white labeling thing with the same features, insanely powerful. And guys, if you have any questions on this so far, I could connect you to the actual owner of ChatDash. Just let me know. Reach out to me on Instagram and I would love to help out. But this is my game plan on how I'm actually going to use this software and how you could use the software to sign your first client. So you're going to set up an account. Again, the sooner the earlier before they jack up the prices, before a lot of people see it and start taking all the domains. Guys, get on this right now. It's a great opportunity. Brand your account. Just buy a domain for like $10. Put a, a logo on there that ChatGPT makes you and put some custom details on there. Start outreaching as a SaaS. You're not outreaching as a freelancer or, or even an agency. You now have a SaaS product. You go and say, hey, I have my own chatbot software. Can we do X, Y, and Z for you? Can we build you out a 24-7 lead generation system? Can we build you out a 24-7 customer support system, right? You're outreaching as a SaaS now, not as an individual. So you have so much more leverage in your offers and a lot more people are going to actually hear you through because you actually have your own software when they go to your domain you could show them that super powerful. So start outreaching as a SaaS and then sign a client guys. Like it'll be so much easier with the software. If you brand it and you set it up, just put two, three months into it and sign a few clients guys. I'm telling you, it is much more possible now that you actually put your label on it. You can put your logo on it. You can put your custom details on it. It just makes the whole process so much easier. I wish I had something like this when I was focusing on chatbots uh, a few months ago. Please guys, my homework to you is go to chat dash, sign up, make an account, start outreaching and sign that first client. It's a very cheap solution to actually white label a amazing software in VoiceLow, slap analytics on it, control the customer journey, and do awesome stuff uh, that a lot of softwares don't have the capability of doing. I wish I had something like this when I was starting my chatbot journey a few months back, maybe half a year now. But regardless, hop on this before it's too late. Sign that first client, and please DM me. Keep me updated on how it goes. I can love to see all of your guys' progress. And if you want to talk to the owner of ChatDash himself, just DM me chat dash and I will connect you guys. All right. I will see you in the next video. Please sign up for the software and let me know when you sign that first client. Take care.